Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today we're gonna to be making some really strong wax tarts or wax melts. Now, if you're new to this channel or you don't know what wax tarts are, those are small chunks of highly fragranced wax that you put inside a wax warmer or melter and it fills the air with really good smelling fragrance. So at the end of this video, I'll show you a time lapse of how it looks to burn down in a wax melter. So we're good, today we're gonna to be using some clamshell containers that I got from Nature's Garden Candles. You may have seen my other video on how to make wax melts when I used the strawberries and cream fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. And that one is, this process is gonna be very much the same as that one, except I'm using the clamshell containers instead of a freeform silicone mold. So these are kind of neat because you're pouring them directly into the packaging that's gonna be holding them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is weigh out the wax. I really like the Pillar of Bliss wax from Nature's Garden, and it's a blend of soy wax and paraffin wax. It's actually over 50% soy wax, but it's used for votives and pillar candles, and it's also um, the wax on their website that they suggest for wax melts. Um, it's got a really good scent retention, got great hot throw. You can put a lot of fragrance in it and it doesn't seep out um, or have an oily uh, film on it. And it's just a very high quality, good wax to use. It's also um, recommended for any type of uh, candle that you're gonna make that you're gonna pop out of a mold, like a votive or a pillar or silicone or these little clamshells because it's a hard wax. So it's not gonna stick to anything as you pop it out to use it for your wax melts. So the first thing we're gonna do is weigh off one pound of the Pillar of Bliss wax. So I'm weighing it out directly into my melt pot. And it comes in these little fine granules, so it's super easy to weigh out and measure. All right, so there's my one pound of the Pillar of Bliss soy wax, I mean the Pillar of Bliss wax, and we're gonna go ahead and melt it down over direct heat. Okay, now since this wax has a really um, high melt point, which means it takes a lot of heat to melt it down, um, I like to go ahead and do it over direct heat since I'm only using a pound of wax. Um, you could certainly use a double boiler here, but I find that it doesn't quite get hot enough um, with a double boiler. You could use a roasting pot like you've seen me use in some of my other candle videos if you like as well. But since we're only using such a small amount, I'm gonna put it over direct heat and I'm gonna watch it very, very carefully and make sure the wax doesn't get too hot. Okay, this wax is all the way melted down, but the recommendation is to bring this wax up to 195 degrees. And we are about 10 degrees shy of that, so we're gonna let that get up to 195 degrees before we kill the heat. And so I'll bring you right back when we've reached that temperature. Okay, so we've reached 195 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and I've turned off the heat here. And the next thing we're gonna do is add our color. So the fragrance oil that I'm gonna be using creme brulee from Candle Science. So I'm actually gonna be doing the base of this wax a very pale, pale yellow to make it kind of look like that custardy um, creme brulee. And the creme brulee smells really good, you guys. It smells just like um, creme brulee. If you've ever smelled that custardy, um, it's got like a, a deep vanilla, buttery, 
but also kind of a, um, a little bit of an alcohol note to it. it. Smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in just one drop of yellow because I'm going for that custard um, color into this one pound of melted wax. And we're just gonna stir that up. And that's the color that I have in the pot. And I think when it um, dries, it's gonna look very much like a custard. Okay, so this wax, the recommendation for adding fragrance is to wait until the temperature has dropped down to 180 degrees before you add any fragrance to it. And then it says to go ahead and pour at around 175 degrees. So when this gets down to 180 degrees, we're gonna be adding in the creme brulee fragrance. Okay, so we're sitting at um, exactly 180 degrees. So the recommendation from the manufacturer does say to put in an ounce per pound of wax of fragrance oil. So you're gonna be putting in one ounce fragrance oil per one pound of wax. Um, I have to tell you on this particular wax, I do not follow the um, recommendations. I actually add three ounces of fragrance per pound of wax because I find that that's what makes my wax tart super strong. And I've never had an, an issue with fragrance oil seeping out. And because you're using such a small chunk of wax in your melter, you want it to be very concentrated so that it fills a room. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our three ounces. I'm gonna give it a good stir. recommendation for pouring into your molds is 175 degrees which I think if you're below that that's okay too for these little clamshells and it looks like we are definitely ready to go ahead and pour these into our clamshells go ahead and give these a good mix We're gonna go ahead and give this first one, this first one poured in. So you'll notice I'm pouring over the amount or over the top of the divided squares. And I'm doing that because if you look at any wax melts that you purchase, they typically do go above that line and you just pop the whole thing out and break out what you want. Okay, so my one pound of wax filled up eight containers and I'm gonna let these cool and set up a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate the top. Okay, these are most of the way set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them off to the side. I just really like the way that color came out. That's exactly the color I was going for. So I'm gonna put these off to the side um, and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the topping. So I'm using 100% soy wax. You could use any type of wax for the topping, but I'm using this 100% soy wax because it is a lower melt point wax. And um, I actually need something that's gonna be uh, liquid for a little bit longer to do my topping. So all I'm gonna do is put in um, just a little bit 
of wax into this Pyrex. So probably about, that's probably actually way too much. I'm gonna dump some of that back. Okay, so I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup of 100% um, soy wax. It really doesn't matter what type of wax you're using for the top, um, but I, I am using 100% soy because the melt point is lower and it will be easier to decorate the top. So what I'm gonna do is pop this in the microwave and I'm gonna melt it on 30 second bursts or heat it on 30 second bursts until it's all the way melted down. And I'll bring you right back when it's all the way melted down. Okay, my wax is all the way melted down and we are sitting at about 156 degrees, 160 degrees. And we're gonna be using the honey liquid dye from Sierra Candles, and I don't want very much of this at all, so I'm not even gonna squeeze a drop in there. I'm just gonna put a little bit from the dropper, like I've already squeezed the excess off into here. So all I'm gonna do is just drop a tiny bit from the dropper into the wax. And we're gonna give that a good stir. Okay, so this should be giving my um, top that kind of burnt crest look that you see on a creme brulee. But I'm gonna be using a pipette to go ahead and put that on. Now I've added no fragrance to this because there's enough fragrance in here. So all I'm gonna be doing is taking my pipette, filling it up, and then I'm gonna just Give it this kind of S pattern up and down. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some gold sprinkles while it's cooling, because this is gonna set up fairly quickly. This is why I wanted to use the soy wax. And I'm gonna put some gold, these are just sugar sprinkles, right on top of the soy wax that is still liquid. just to kind of give it some nice decoration. Okay, they are all done. I'll go ahead and bring you in for a close-up when it's all the way set up and you can see what that looks like. And they actually right now look like real creme brulee desserts. So I'll bring you right back in for a close-up in just a minute. Here they are all set up. I did add some more shimmer gold mica powder to the top. And this is how they look closed up in the package. There you can see I've made some cranberry orange ones as well. Stay tuned for a time-lapse video of how these melt down in my warmer. Wait.